Good morning, folks, and welcome to another uh, Football's Future and Sports Future lockdown session. Um, excuse my hand. Um, as you know, we're on Facebook Live every Saturday morning, uh, as well as on our YouTube channel. You can subscribe there, uh, Sports and Football's Future. Just search us, and uh, we've got a bank of videos uh, there that we can uh, go back and have a look at. So today, we are going to be working on some dribbling, and then we're going to go on to some turning. And then after that, we'll be doing a little keep up uh, challenge that you can use or practice when you're at home. A special mention to uh, Shift the Timber, uh, shifttotimber.com, as well as um, nobc.uk, our partners, who are doing great work um, trying to help families um, lose weight on a football program for adults, as well as um, nobc.uk, who are also doing nutritional programs for, uh, for families. And, and likes so that said let's get going three things today part one like I said it's gonna be dribbling a little dribbling warm-up neighbors are around us so hopefully it won't be too noisy got someone coming out in the back fence now so we'll start with some dribbling and uh, we'll take a few, a few different things hopefully my microphone's working today morning you're on Facebook live <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> so we're going to start off with a simple dribbling warm-up, okay? Ball familiarity, trying to get as much touches on the ball. This is for adults and for kids. So, um, like I said, we're going to be moving the ball lots of different ways. So we're going to start off with insides of the foot, nice and close. Keep it up and close. Wasn't the best of dribblers being a centre half, but I did my best. Okay, then we're going to start trying to use the, the inside and the sole of the foot. Okay, moving the ball, keep it nice and right. I'm going to ruin my glass after two sessions. I'm going to have to get outside the front next week. Now we're starting to use the sole of our foot as well. So we're trying to push the ball, it's moving it. And again, for adults, you might think, oh, this is simple stuff I've done years ago. But why not get yourself fit again, get yourself moving, get out with the kids, and start doing some more stuff in the garden. So moving the ball again, the inside foot. And just relax there. Have a little stretch. Stretch it up. Arm stretch. Stretch it out. Arm stretch. Here we go again. Just moving the ball. Try not to ruin my grass. And some foot. And now we're going to change it. We're going to start again. Soft touches using the outside of the foot and the inside of the foot. Just moving. Again, put your toe down. Looking to do the laces, the top part, if you haven't got laces these days, these are old school boots, a lot of you I'm sure have got those sock boots that we can't help you get on at our clubs. So again, laces, just pushing that ball nice and soft, just little touches around the guard. And trying to get outside, using the inside down again, and just trying to push it with the outside. So now maybe just think about one touch with the inside, and then two with the outside. Inside. Touch, touch, inside, touch, touch, inside, touch, touch. Just get a real good bit of motion for the ball. Okay, so now we're going to think about exploding with bigger touches. Okay, so small touch to a really big touch, all the other way around. Whoops, slipping on the stepping stones. Out and then inside. So small touches. Now thinking about bigger and exploding out. Turn it up a little bit. Explosive. Explosive thing. So small touches, small, big feet out. Trying to move that ball. So now we're trying to increase our heart rates a little bit and get those old folks, especially like me, getting our heart rates up. Okay, so we do a little bit of arm oh, think. Get some boost up top. Let's see who's looking in. Oh, you're stretching. Good morning, Kathy. Angela's a kid in. It's nice to see you there. Is it, is it Beanie? Beanie, nice to see you too. Great to see some folks watching. Remember, please share us, please like us, and please love us. Okay, here we go. We'll move it again. Hopefully my microphone's working. I'm always shouting at the kids at the sessions to try and bellow and get my information across. The second part of what I've just done there is going to be a turn today. So we're going to be moving on soon. Okay, after just few hours myself inside and out with some Turns. The three main turns today is going to be a uh, 
step over turn, so where you don't really even touch the ball until you've actually come out of the turn. So you're stepping over the ball and turning. That one is generally used when the ball's moving slower. You've got a player either side of you and you're looking to try and get out, um, like I say, when the ball's not moving. The second two are going to be with the ball moving. One's going to be the outside hook, just chopping down the ball. And the second one's going to be a coin turn, named after the famous yellow hand coin. So the way I would set this up is you can use cones, extra balls, whatever it is you've got in the garden. I'm going to use cones because funny enough, like I said last week, I have plenty of these. So four cones. And you can set challenges for yourself and your family, mums, dads, brothers, sisters, whatever it might be. Let's try something that way you can see it properly. So, and you can change the size of the box depending on age, skill level, fitness level. So, I'll just talk you through the three, three turns and then I'll demonstrate how to do it in my muddy garden. Absolutely ruined it. We had someone mentioning that my grass was too long, but I kept it that way on purpose. I love my garden, just to kind of keep the grass as long as I could. So thanks, Mike, for that, but I did it on purpose, all right? So I didn't get my strimmer out. Now, first one's going to be an outside hook. An outside hook, you've got to step. If you're right-footed, it'll probably look left or right. It'll actually look opposite on the camera. For the right-footer, although well, this will look left-footed, I'm sure, for you guys, you're stepping to the left-hand side, okay, for a right-footer, or the right-hand side for a left-footer. So you're stepping to the side of the ball, and then you're chopping down on the ball, and looking to just get a little cut on the ball, so it turns and it's out of your foot, so you can get away from that defender. So I'll show you again with it moving, it's there, you're looking to get inside it and chop down the ball, and you get away. If you want to see the ball not the quickest, and maybe don't get away from that defender as quick as some of you guys will do. So that's the first one. The second one, like I said to you before, is where the ball's actually not moving. So you've got players near you, you don't always have to touch the ball, to trick players with uh, again a scissor you don't touch the ball Oops. but you still can trick a player and the same goes with the step over turn so you're literally faking as we're going to pass yeah, so you're faking to step over the ball there and then you just come in back around okay i'll show you that again the ball would stop before you do it so obviously you know, when you step over it, the ball will keep going so you can only use this when the ball's slow so you're stepping over the ball fake pass and you're driving back on Final ones, a Cruyff turn, I'll show you that going the other way. A Cruyff turn is where you're faking again to pass the ball, or you're faking to even have a shot maybe. So the ball's travelling this time, you're faking and you're hooking the ball with the inside of your foot. Okay? So if you break that down, you're stepping as if you were to strike the ball, to come behind into the side of the ball, and you're turning your foot around, hooking the ball, and then driving it out the other way. So let's demonstrate those three turns. And uh, an old FA drew on up when I first started coaching at 18 was just doing one, two, three, and stopping the line. We'll try that. So you're doing one turn, two turns, three turns, and stopping. Now you can do the same turn, and then you can try all three, and then after that, you can go into alter uh, alternating, doing all three turns in one go. So I'll just show you about how you fall over this mud. You just come down through, over the point, force it out, turn in. Again, that's two. Maybe you'll use the other foot, and then you're going to finish it by stopping it on the line. That simple. All right, so that's your coif. You can practice it first. You can time this so you get your timer out and uh, set yourself challenges. So maybe you time it with mum and dad, whoever, brother, sister, time you, and then you can try and beat the score the next day or whatever. So that's the coif. Outside hook is you chopping down the ball. Get them out again, use the opposite foot, pull them up strong for me. Last one, chop, and you're looking to stop the ball on. Okay, final one is going to be like I said, the, the step over. And again, this one needs the ball to be moving a little bit slower. So I'm dribbling, ball stop, step over the ball, this one, try the left foot, not as good a faker. The other way, last one, so you try to stop at the line as quick as you can. So, fairly basic, but again, it's getting my heart rate up, we something that you can do together uh, with your family. It's fun and I'm puffing on. I need to get my fitness up definitely. Who else we got here? Sarah, lovely to see you. Michelle and James, long time no see. 
one of our original starters at Football's Future. Um, and now my camera's getting wet. I should have put the umbrella up, shouldn't I? Remember, you can see all these sessions banked back on our YouTube channel. Again, Sports and Football's Future. Just search for that or our Facebook page. Um, I also had to plug a kit today, but I forgot to bring it out because it's raining. Final thing. Last one is a little keepy up thing. Let's use a clean ball. So, keepy ups, always a tricky one. And I'm gonna uh, post a video onto this chat afterwards of a four year old, I'm not sure where he's from, maybe Spain, I'm not sure. But he's unbelievable, a little four year old, he's doing all these types of turns better than I can. And also does great keep ups with somebody, a partner. So, anyone can do keep ups, it's just a case of just practice, 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 practice. So, the way to break it down, simple, okay? First of all, you want to try, if you can, just to work on your feet. And I guess you can work on flicking it up, and they say you shouldn't, be able to, you shouldn't be using your hands. But just to get confident with keeping the ball up, this is something you can go away and practice. Maybe adults, you've got this one down by now, but maybe not. It's just to flick the ball and try and get it back into your hands. If you're diving after it, chasing after it, something's wrong, right? So you've got to try and figure out what that problem is. The rain is now coming down a lot. So, flick. I'll show you sideways. You're looking to make contact at the lowest point possible and your toes pointing up. But if you look, the ball will start to spin slightly towards me. Because again, if it's like this too far towards you, if it's hitting me in the nose, something's definitely wrong, right? So you have to pick the ball up, catch. Ideally, you alternate. Now, it's a bit splodgy and muddy this morning, but you could also have a bounce and just try and keep it going like this. So now the ball's a little bit more out of control, you've got to really work on that touch. Okay, so just looking to kind of keep it up, surprise it's bouncing on my muddy pitch. Okay, so just working on that. Then once you get confident, start to flick it and keep it going. Feet are tough. Sometimes you might want to just get a bit of confidence up and start with the thigh. Flat, looking to get it a platform up and catch. Again, keep it nice and easy. But then about shoulders are hip height, just working on that. And then you can alternate the feet. So just get it up, alternate. Again, good fitness for us older folks. Yeah. Great work by Joe Ricks yesterday. 1.5 million fantastic, 24 hours. I mean, no challenge you need for that. Yeah. Maybe next year. Working on that. And then you can break it down and start picking it up like this. You go one, two. Yeah? One, two. One, two. Just working on yeah. And then you can start going a bit more of a combination. So maybe it's going to be foot, fly, fly, foot. So you're kind of working around the world. Yeah? So, oh, you missed up, but again, just keep it going. But ideally you're trying to do it in control and try and work on the different surfaces. You can just work on the feet, just keeping the ball up. But again, it's, I might make it look fairly easy. That's because I've been practicing for years. But when you see that video I send you later on, this four-year-old makes it look easy as well. It's just down to practice. All right? It wasn't born with uh, juggling feet, I don't think. So you can go on to heads. There's a bit of controversy these days. And obviously the FA try to be careful in heading, but just the small jab in there, I think it's too bad. It's not going to be uh, concussions from little headers. So if you wanted to, you could just do foot, I say, foot uh, sorry, heads and foot. Heads and foot and catch. You can go foot to head. Yeah. Or you can go there, there, there and catch. Then you start doing combinations. Foot, fly, head. Or you could work all the way around and have a little go. Yeah. Up. Oh. oh, nearly. I missed my thigh up. I'm too big for that. Alright? So lots and lots of combinations. Alright? Hopefully that gives you a few things to work on this weekend. Please uh, message him with any other stuff you might want to see or stuff that your uh, little boy, girl or yourself might be struggling with. And um, I'll be happy to do some more demonstrations of that, if I can do it myself, that is. Remember, uh, please share us. Uh, love us with that heart thing on there if you can. And uh, give us the like. And share, uh, share with your friends and family because we'd love to get more people watching these and hopefully helping them through these tricky times. So hello and thanks to all those that are watching. Have a great weekend, alright, take care, and we'll see you soon. That's it, keep the love coming, bye bye.